Okay, so um, before Christmas, we started on Mail Merge, and <clears throat> whether you're one of my students or whether you're a student from around the world, you would have studied IGCSE, ICT, uh, where you would do Mail Merge. Now, um, the Mail Merge for Year 13 goes a little deeper. Okay, so for, first of all, we need to remember the reason why do we use Mail Merge, because as you know, um, this could come up in theory in your exam as well. So, I thought this was a very good reason. Imagine if you had to write a thousand birthday invites. Would you have to write um, each invite a thousand times? Or would you insert everybody's name and address diff individually? Okay, so the way you've got to look at it is, is there's several ways you could do that. Yes, you can write the uh, birthday invites a thousand times. Yes, you can insert everyone's name and address individually. You're probably thinking, I'll just use copy and paste. Well, why do that when you can use mail merge? Okay, mail merge is really simple. So, um, in the, one of the other videos, I will be going into it, um, of how you do it and so on. But first of all, um, I'm looking through um, the Cambridge syllabus, and I'm looking through the, um, the task that we have to do. Now, with um, year 13 and with... A, um, a level ICT or IT, they may ask you to merge from different sources. You are used to using mail merge from a CSV document or some kind of text document. Or they may ask you to merge from different sources. So it's always advisable to look at the documents first. Don't just jump straight into the question. Look at your documents first and see what you've got to do. So, introducing what you could possibly find. Okay, so there's two different types of documents. One is your master document. Okay, that's your letter. So, here, for example, in 1801, if you have the um, AS and A level ICT um, book, this would be your master document. Okay, now the reason why it's a master document is because this is the letter, this is the finished product. Okay, so here's the finished product. Sorry, that's going to come up all the time, it has expired and I'm not renewing it. Right, so here's your master document. So as you can see, it says date will go here, full name of recipient will go here, full address of recipient will go here. Okay, so then it says, Dear. And then for name. So you can see these are the bits that you're going to mail merge. Okay. And here's another bit that you're going to mail merge. But generally, what you're used to seeing is things like dear, for name, but you would see these fields here. Okay. That's generally what you would see. Um, so rather than writing someone's name and address a thousand times or different people's name and address where you know there's going to be room for error, XYZ, okay, you would use mail merge. Now, the next thing you may encounter um, is your source documents. Now, your source documents are where the names and the addresses and the other information you need to merge is stored. Okay? Now, your source documents could come in different ways. Okay? You need to understand the file types for you to merge them. Okay? So, 1803 here. Okay, it's supposed to be a CSV document, but you can quite clearly see that it's not. But as we've experienced before with Cambridge, you know, these things can happen. So you can see that it's going to be <coughs> in some kind of Excel document. <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> Scroll up. <coughs> Here we go. ID, surname, forename, class. So... Now, you may see name, address, etc. Okay? So you can see that's here. Now, the next one, 1804, is supposed to be a rich text format, but it's not. It's just a Microsoft document. Sorry, I've got a bit of a sniffle. Right. Let's take a look here. So you're probably thinking, okay, this is um, a standard word format. So, okay. As you can see, it's not. Now, for you that is very experienced, you should have realised as soon as I run my mouse over there, you can see evidence of a table. 
Okay, and if you're thinking, how did I see evidence of a table? Um, well, when I move, run my mouse over, you could see that this appeared. Okay, so if I highlight this information here, you can see this is all put out in a table. If you want to see the table, go up here, select all borders, and there you go. Okay, so that has been made in a table. It's not just been typed, it's actually put into a table, which makes a lot of sense. Next thing is 1805 is just text. Now, this is just notepad, so this has been just simply typed or copied and pasted on here, okay? And that's pretty much it. Then, um, 1806 is supposed to be an XLS, but you can see it's the same as that because it wasn't saved as a CSV, okay? So this is just the same. Now, one thing you need to remember with comma-separated value files, CSV, is yes, they open up, in Microsoft Excel, no, they're not an Excel document. Comma separated values mean each value, each piece of text, okay, for example, here, if I open this back up, like this would be separated by a comma, okay? Looks like it's put into a cell, but the reason why it's comma separated values is because every time the software sees the comma, it will put some in a different cell. Okay, right, next thing is the database one. Okay, so there's basically two tables here. I'm not going to save this. Um, I'll enable content. Right, I won't save it. Right, so you can see class here, student here, and then there's a query. Okay, right, so all may become clear later of what we do with those okay so always please check your documents every single time okay don't because as you know things can go wrong you've got what two hours for the exam and there's a lot to do we don't have time for error okay so always open your documents and check them first the two documents you should have two documents that you'll be given okay one will be the master file one will be the source file Check both of them, okay? That's always the first thing that you do.